Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install our free blog post template for Divi's Sunglasses Shop Layout Pack. This is the result we're aiming to achieve, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So once you get here, you want to click on get it for free today and then add your email address here. Click on download, download the files, and now you need to unzip this file. So when you unzip it, this is the file that you get. And this is the file we're going to be using for our blog post template. All right. So what I'm going to do next now is to install it on our website. And I'll show you how to customize it. So back over here on our site, as you can see, I'm logged into my WordPress admin dashboard. So what I need to do now is to scroll all the way down here to Divi. In fact, you know what? Let me show you what our blog post template looks like. So I'm just going to come over here to all posts and then we're just going to do a quick preview of our blog post. So I'm going to view this in a new tab and this is what it looks like. So as you can see, there's no styling to this. This is what you get out of the box when you install Divi. Okay, so the next step now is to install it. So I'm going to come all the way down here to Divi and click on Theme Builder. Next, you want to click on portability, click on import. And there's two ways to install this. You can either click here and then this will open up your finder or you can just uh, bring the file that you just unzipped and then just drag and drop it over here, just like that. Making sure override and allow import to override existing assignments is checked. Click on import DV theme builder template. And now this is going to import our blog post template. Excellent. So we can see here it's also been assigned to all the posts on our site. So uh, just to quickly show you again what this looks like, this is what we have so far. Uh, and this is out of the box Divi. And now we're going to hit save changes and see how this blog post template is going to transform all our blog posts on our site. All right. So over here, I'm going to refresh and boom, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, this looks really nice. I can scroll and uh, all my information I need here is on the left. And there we go. So remember, this is our blog post template. So it's only showing information that is uh, for our blog posts. Now, I also want to show you how you can go in and customize this. So to customize it, you can just come back over here, click on this pencil icon. So first things first, let's take a look and see how we can go in and change our title here to match our branding. So right now I've got text settings and uh, we have dynamic text here. So this is targeting our post or archive title. So all we can do here is to go into the design and um, we can go into our heading text, change the colors. So you can see here that my color is updating. So you can match your colors here with your brand your branding colors uh here we can also change the font so we can change this to monster rat or we can just you know leave it back here at poppins and that's pretty much how you can go in and change that uh, main title okay next let's take a look here at each and every one of these metadata so i'm going to click on this gear icon and this is go going to open up our blurb settings so again we are using dynamic text here so this is going to show our categories so to customize this text, I'm going to click here on this paintbrush icon and we can choose our font over here. So I'm going to go with Poppins and I'm also going to reduce the size like that to maybe about 14. And we can also add some line height like that uh, just to customize it and make it look much better. OK, uh, we also have the ability to make customizations to our icon and we can change the color here of our icon. We can add a circle and we can also show a border here on the circle as well. So there's a lot that we can do to customize this and make it look the way we want. And we also have the icon font size here so you can adjust the icon itself, make it smaller. So you can see I've brought it down all the way to 22. But that may not be the design you want to go with. This is, this is just to show you. This is just to show you how far you can go in and customize this. All right, so I'm going to close out of here. So what I've done here is, is uh, pretty much the same as you would if you wanted to 
customize all this. Now, I don't think I showed you how to change the icon. So if you wanted to change any of these icons, just click on this gear icon and then go to image and icon. So you can then choose from all these icons we have here. So let's say you want to go with that one instead. This is how you select it. And as I mentioned before, if you want to change the size, you can just go to image and icon and on icon font size, you can adjust the size over here. All right, so that is how you customize this area here. Now let's move over here to the right. And this is where we have our text settings. And again, we want to come over here to our background. And for this image here to show, we need to come over here to this third tab. And you can see here our image has been added there. And this is our featured image. And on the sizes here, it's set to cover and also it's, it's set to center. So this is how that image shows the, the background, okay? So this is targeting our featured image. So moving on, this is our post content. So this is what we'll write on our, write on our blog. So I'm gonna click here on this uh, gear icon and this is gonna take us to our post content settings. So to customize this, uh, the quickest and easiest way is to just highlight and click on this pen brush icon and this will take you to the item that you want to make changes to so in this case i have my heading over here so if i wanted to change the color i can just update it like that change the size and then do the same heading two i could change the color here i could change the size as well and continue for the paragraph text just click here again on the pen brush icon and Again, we have our text font, changes to pop-ins if you want to use that. And if you want to increase the size here, you can just do that by just nudging it a little bit. And we also have the ability to adjust our line height. So as you can see, this is very easy to go in and make update updates to. So that is our post area. So I'm going to close out of here and let's move on to our next uh, part here. And this is our comments area. So if I click on this gear icon, again, I advise that you click on the paintbrush icon. This will take you directly to where you can go in and make your changes. So you can see here, I'm updating this by clicking on my colors and I can also change my size. So just hover over here and click where you want to make your changes to. And you can easily do that by just making all these changes over here. Okay, so that's pretty much all we have here for this blog post template. Now let's take a look one more time at our template and see what it looks like. So as I'm scrolling through here, you can see that it's showing all the information that we have for this template. Go ahead, download it. It's absolutely free and you can use it on as many websites as you want, both your own websites and also for your clients. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.